men look at these healing, but they're not. They turn their backs against God. That's why the world today that we're living in, this nation that we're living in today, is getting worse and worse. It's getting no better. It's getting no better. People can run. People can jog. I think they're going to get healthy, but if they're not healthy spiritually, they're still going to die in a sense. Gospel, share the gospel to the world. Tom Brady is not God. Jesus Christ is God. No place to go. Come to Jesus. He give you a place to go. We love you. We want everybody to go to heaven. We want everybody to go to heaven. Because a lot of people are going to hell. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody do you like the Lord. And he is God. But today in 2018, God is still good. One step and come here and give your life to Jesus. Come here and give your life to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. Because you literally do anything that the flesh tells you to do. You see a girl with a nice body, you say, I'm going to go talk to her. You see somebody drop their wallet instead of giving it back to them, you'll keep it. You see, but if you have the Spirit of the Lord within you, the Spirit of the Lord will guide you into all righteousness. And God's law is beautiful. The commandments are beautiful. All ten of them, all 613 of them, beautiful. It comes down to it, God is our creator. He is our creator. And I think if you look into archaeology, that there's so much evidence that that Jesus was a man on this earth and not only a man but I believe that he proved to be God no one else did what Jesus Christ did so all you have to do is just surrender your heart to him and I guarantee you he'll change your life forever Amen. for he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him shall not what perish but have everlasting life I don't know about you, but I want everlasting life with Jesus Christ. Say it. Say it. And I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I am a witness, Amen. as well as my brothers and sisters here. I could have been out here preaching for Tom Brady. Amen. Okay, but I'm not going to. Tom Brady don't even know half of y'all out here, and you guys are giving him your money. Okay? You're giving Tom Brady your money. It doesn't matter how good of a player he is. He needs God, too. We all need God. He needs God to keep him playing. Amen. That's right. That's right. Okay? So while y'all his fans, be a fan of God. Okay? Be a fan of God. Because God can heal you and save you. Tom Brady can't save nobody. It says it in his word right here. God, in my experience, always keeps his promises. When he tells you that he will guide you, when the Bible tells you that if you seek wisdom, that you can go to a God that will not turn you away. He will always give you the wisdom that you seek in accordance with his will. Now, he's not going to give you the wisdom to rob a bank, but if you want the wisdom of how to live a righteous life, he will give it to you. He will help you just as he helped me. He will set you free just as he sets me free on a daily basis. Jesus is still being talked about to this day for a reason. Because he is real. 
the Israeli. Do you not know that the, the, the evil one, Satan, plots against you that there will be a new world order that will rise up, of where the Antichrist will rule, he'll exalt himself, he'll defile everything holy, blaspheme against it? They talk about that openly, they want a new world order. You can look it up. But we do not have to fear that, for in Christ Jesus is salvation. In Christ Jesus, we are guided. with you. The Bible says I stand at the door and knock. cross for our sins he died on the cross so we can be set free set free from addictions set free from depression from anxiety from pornography from lust you can be set free from anything nobody is good because the bible says in romans 3 uh, 3 12 there is no one who does good no not one the only holy 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 is god Hallelujah. If God says don't commit adultery and fornication, it's for your own good. You go committing adultery and fornication, you get AIDS virus, you die. And eventually you die without knowing him. Or still you go to hell. Brother, hellfire is real, heaven is real. Remember, whatever you say is what you're going to reap. In 2016, I gave my life to Jesus Christ. 2006. So it's been 14 years I've been sober. And I didn't have to go to no AA meeting. I didn't have to go to no um, therapist, no psychiatrist. I just needed Jesus. And we all need Jesus. Every single one of us, including me, I still need Jesus. But Jesus is the way maker. He is the deliverer. He will deliver you from your sins. It's to God the Father through Him by the reception of his love who first loved us we turn in in truth in our heart to love him more not because we were good people not because we did all the right things in fact we did many wrong things that's why God sent his only begotten son that way he could give us a way to get to the father now the word tells us that Jesus is the way the truth and the life if you look at the news we're heading into a very very wrong direction society as a whole Society has taken God away from everything, from schools, from the government, from everything. And what's happening soon, soon, God's wrath is going to come. But for those who are saved, for those who believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ, those will be saved and those will enter the kingdom of God. And this year, you see all these things that are happening all over the world. What else needs to happen in this world for you to believe? You're going to continue walking in sin, continue walking in your... And your death life, you know, all of you guys are walking here today, not even knowing what you're doing. Some people are walking saying, Hail, say, Hail Jesus. His mercy is everlasting, and He has mercy upon you today. In fact, it says actually, the Bible is a mirror to reflect what you see back at yourself. And that's why people are afraid to pick it up. This is why people don't seek God. This is why people don't give any thought whatsoever in the course of their daily routines. They just move happily along, their jobs, their pubs, 
to their schools, to their nurseries, wherever they're going. We're here, down here, because we love you. And we're here to tell you that Jesus Christ loves you too. As you see today, we are falling in a fallen world today. And we need hope. Our hope is not in ourselves. Our hope is not in just our family.